Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and one of my fellow XRP YouTubers says that I am misleading you. Yes, you listening to this, I have been misleading you, and I fervently disagree. Uh, this comes from Jade the XRP Martian. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's on the topic of the correlation of XRP uh, relative to, to Bitcoin's price action. I say there is a correlation. And Jade, the XRP Martian, says there is not. So uh, we're, we're, I'm going to get into this here. Now, I, I want to stay at the outset here. Um, I This is not some sort of like a smackdown type of thing. I actually really love diversity of thought. So for me, and I like to preface this because sometimes when people are disagreeing with one another, sometimes, uh, especially if it's like politics or something like that, that's really deeply personal. But even sometimes in crypto, people can be offended if somebody has a different viewpoint. Um, I just, as a person in general, don't respond that way. I really enjoy thoughtful debate. I like critical thinking. I like diversity of thought. And I think it's perfectly okay for two rational adults to talk through things and then ultimately disagree and still be friends in the end. So that, that's where I'm coming from on this uh, purely. So this is not something to be clear that I'm remotely offended by, not in the least. To me, this is actually something that makes me feel really engaged. And I really enjoy it when people um, kind of challenge me on those beliefs and opinions that, that uh, I hold close. And, uh, you know, and here's the other thing. In the event that I, there's, there's sufficient evidence uh, pointed out to me to, to sway me, you know, if you can if you can prove to me that I'm wrong, well, that's super duper. You know, I, I would love to be proven wrong. And, and why? Because then I can stop being wrong. So to me, it's a win-win, right? <laughs> so that's the case. Because I always reserve the right to change my opinion here. But, um, you know, I, I typically don't hold firm opinions unless I feel that I've sufficiently seriously researched a topic. And this one, I feel like I'm, I've done enough. Like I, and, I, and I have not been persuaded by what's been stated here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to share my opinions. I'm going to share with you uh, Jade, the XRP Martian's opinions. And if you, after going through this, you think that I'm wrong and he's right, that's fine. I, I still appreciate you stopping by. It doesn't matter. We can all be friends. And it's totally cool if we disagree. But I will say that um, he, he definitely holds the minority opinion within the XRP community so far as I can tell. Uh, I would not want to be in the role of having to defend what he is defending here. So <laughs> with that said, this is all in good fun though. All right, so I'm going to run through this. I've also got some tweets from XRP community members, and then I'll wrap up the video with something unrelated. It's from Cointelegraph, a piece titled, Smart Money Came In After First Bitcoin ETF Rejection, says Analyst. Uh, before I go any further though, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP and you appreciate thoughtful discussion and debate based on critical thinking and not emotion, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. You're going to have a good time here, and I hope you enjoyed this video here. Be sure to let me know what you think when we're done, though. I really, I really love diversity of thought here. So here's the tweet from fellow XRP YouTuber Jade the XRP Martian. So he tweeted me, tagged me, Moon Lambo IO on Twitter. It's becoming a trigger hearing you say that XRP is correlated to Bitcoin. Is that like a microaggression when you say trigger? Am I, am I, am I microaggressing? That's what I want to know. <laughs> so it's a trigger uh, hearing you say that XRP is correlated to Bitcoin. They're so not correlated that over the last 100 days, their correlation has been negative. Check link. Uh, please stop sharing this misleading opinion with your viewers. Okay, so that was his initial tweet right there. And so his position right here, as stated, they're so not correlated that over the last 100 days, their correlation has been negative. So again, the position here, not correlated. Um, in, in the tweets I'm going to show you, he does seem to change his opinion to state later on that there's a correlation, but it's just weak. I'd also like to state at the outset that, yes, I state that they're, the, the XRP in terms of price action relative to Bitcoin is correlated, but to anybody that has listened to more than one of my videos on this topic, you know that my stance is not that there is a strong correlation, and that point is going to matter tremendously. Let's go ahead and first pull up, though, uh, the, the link here. It's uh, coinpredictor.io. So this is, the first, uh, this is the first thing I want to pull up here, and this is from Jade, the XRP Martian here. Now, what I found fascinating here is that, again, his position is that the XRP is not correlated. In this original tweet, it's pretty clear. He's saying XRP not, not correlated in terms of price action. This piece, including the chart, show that XRP is correlated right here. So it shows the exact opinion. Exact, factually, it shows the exact opposite of what he believes, of what his opinion is here. So let me read just a little, little bit here. Does Ripple depend on Bitcoin? Of course, they mean XRP, but what are you going to do? 
According to the correlation analysis, Bitcoin and XRP have a weak negative relationship. How about that? It doesn't say no relationship. It says weak negative relationship. Okay. The correlation coefficient of their prices is negative 0.21, which was estimated based on the previous 100 days price dynamics of both currencies. This coefficient may change from negative 1 to 1, where negative 1 is the strongest negative correlation, 0 is no correlation, okay, uh, at all, and 1 is the strongest positive correlation, right there, okay? Now, take a look at this before I, I read further. This is something that I covered on my channel, uh, I think the day this came out, it was either the day of or the day after, and this is from October 6th this month, check this out. This is from AMB Crypto, it's a piece titled XRP and XLM, and that's stellar, uh, have the least correlation with Bitcoin among the top 10 cryptocurrency list. And before this came out, before I had these facts, I can tell you because I've been staring at these charts for almost two years, and I'm not a technical analyst, no financial background whatsoever, I don't even make price predictions, period, on this channel. I do not, I, this is a non-hype channel, I do not do hype. <clears throat> but uh, I can tell you, having looked at charts for the last nearly two years and looking at other cryptocurrencies, I could tell, and others had acknowledged also, prominent members of the crypto community, I've cited, for instance, Nicholas Mertens is one of them, who cite that XRP is behaving differently. Okay, XRP, yes, correlated to Bitcoin, but the point that I had always been making for the entirety of this channel's lifespan, which is, what, 10 months, something like that? Yeah, a little over 10 months. I've always made the point that XRP indeed is correlated in terms of price action to Bitcoin, but it's the least correlated out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies. And then along came this piece, perfectly fitting into the narrative that I have presented to you, right? Again, XRP and XLM have the least correlation with Bitcoin among the top 10 cryptocurrency list. Now, of course... I said that XRP was the least correlated. Technically, it depends. Let me show you this. Let me show you why I got to parse this out a little bit. Here's the top 10 cryptocurrencies. XRP is number three on this list on Live Coinwatch. XLM, number 10. XLM is not always in the number 10 slot. So if it's not in the number 10 slot, say Tron or something else has a bigger market cap because there's not that big a difference right now, which does happen. In that case, XRP is the least correlated out of the top 10. Now that XLM is right there, XRP is the second to least correlated in terms of price action. Uh, relative to, to Bitcoin. Let me go back to this piece now and read just a little bit of this. I don't need to cover this whole thing to make my points here. But uh, first mover Bitcoin is rightfully enjoying all the advantages as every other cryptocurrency is pegged to it, giving it a wild sway over altcoins. Since Bitcoin is the most traded cryptocurrency excluding Tether and is one of the dominant trading pairs on most exchanges, the effect of any sudden movement in Bitcoin can be seen in altcoins. To put it simply, there is a strong correlation between altcoins and Bitcoin. And here you can see there's a subheading correlation right here. Uh, and this is the one part I want to read on this, this story, and then I'm going to jump back to the point specific in the Twitter thread, right? But this is all directly related, of course. According to Unfolded's correlation matrix, correlation between Bitcoin and the top 10 cryptocurrencies is not only positive, but very high. Ethereum is 85% correlated to Bitcoin, while Bitcoin Cash, BCH, is 89.42%. The same trend can be seen for Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, and Bitcoin SV. However, what's interesting is that the correlation for XRP, the third largest cryptocurrency, and its so-called competitor XLM, is very less. This means that these coins' price moves, uh, price moves independently to that of Bitcoin. Also, looking at Spearman correlation charts for XRP and XLM gives a much clearer idea about the de uh, decreasing correlation over the past month. And this, by the way, this fits perfectly into what I've been saying for the entirety of this channel, which is that XRP is decoupling from Bitcoin in slow motion. Day by day, as more people enter, more people will, it's my, it's my investment thesis that utility matters and will win the day. I believe that more people are going to learn about the utility of specific cryptocurrencies. XRP is the only cryptocurrency being used in the commercial production of anything period. And I think that matters. I think that's part of the reason why. It's also fascinating that uh, both XRP and XLM use the uh, consensus algorithm as a, as a terms of solving the double spin problem. So that's notable too. So it could be one of those or both of those. But that, that's that's my theory there as, as to why. There's, but utility clearly matters. And regardless, even if we don't know what the reason is, it's clearly different. XRP and XLM are being treated different. 
No question of that. So again, this exactly fit into what I've been saying. I've been very consistent. There's a correlation, but again, it's least correlated. And that's why I always like to point out also this, uh, it's an, one of the many anecdotal incidents you could point out from May of 2017 through uh, halfway through, roughly halfway through December of 2017. While Bitcoin was ramping up, you could have said there was no correlation there, but uh, XRP ultimately broke out parabolically. And then you can look down, you could pick so many points um, after that and before that. Uh, and that's why, again, I said it's, you can see it, just look at a chart. You don't need any, any sort of expertise on this. You can see that they go through longer periods of time where there appears to be no correlation. XRP trades in an narrow bandwidth. I've always been saying this. And then you get these huge parabolic run-ups, which is why it makes sense for me as an XRP holder to make sure I have exposure. That's why I don't do trading either. I just buy and hold. But then uh, ultimately, when, when Bitcoin has dramatic uh, price movements, uh, especially to the downside, XRP almost always moves in lockstep. Not always, because you can have certain dips, but if there's, especially if there's something dramatic, yes, XRP and everything else is going to move. And that's why I've, 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 in many videos, I've pointed this out. I've had this on Live Coin Watch Open, and I highlight that here are the top 10 cryptocurrencies, and all their charts outside of Tether look exactly the same. Happens all the time, and you cannot sit there and tell me if you're going to be intellectually honest that there's no correlation. Really? There's clearly a correlation. It could not be more crystal clear. Let's jump back into the threat here now. So if you go down a little bit further, so I re here's my response to that original tweet from Jade, the XRP Martian. XRP is definitely correlated to Bitcoin price action, and I presented ample evidence on my channel. Maybe you missed it. Even Ripple executives Brad Garlinghouse and David Schwartz, who, by the way, is co-creator of the XRP Ledger, uh, they both agree there is correlation here. I'm not sure what facts you're missing, though. And so, Jade, the XRP responded with a few tweets. Let me read these here. I guess I'm confused why these facts aren't present in the price movements. Well, again, consider what I just cited. And you already saw the, that I, I just I factually showed you that there there is indeed a correlation. And it's just weaker than the other top 10 cryptocurrencies. What is, it's exactly what I've been saying. So I, I showed that. And that is present in the price action. So I would dispute that claim that it's not in the price action. Then he says, pictures above is a picture above is the last 30 days. So again, take a look at this. Here's what he showed in the first tweet he put out. Here's the Bitcoin chart for 30 days. Here's the XRP chart for 30 days. His point is that it doesn't cor correlate. My point is that you need to zoom out on a chart to see this. If you're arbitrarily choosing a 30-day period, it may or may not appear correlated. You have to zoom out on a chart. That's another thing I've been saying on this channel. Uh, it, it, it's seemingly in perpetuity for the entirety of this channel's existence, right? Um, and so uh, the picture above is for the last 30 days. He says, linked below is a statistical analysis of the last uh, 100 days. And I promise over the last 12 months, the correlation is even lower. Okay, uh, here's the yearly chart. If they were correlated, there would not be a nearly 70% price divergence over the last single year. Check this part out. This is noteworthy also. He says, if XRP was even 50% correlated to Bitcoin, it would be over $1 today. Now that I can flatly state is absolutely incorrect. And how do I know that? Well, look at this data right here. What did I just show? So the correlation to XRP, and this is for the piece from AMB Crypto I pulled up just a few minutes ago. XRP's correlation to Bitcoin in terms of price action is 56.52%. Yet, as I record this, XRP is priced, according to Live Coin Watch, at 29.2 cents, whereas uh, Jade says that if there's even 50% correlation, that it would be over $1 today. That's just clearly not accurate. It just it, facts are facts, you know. Um, and then here's here's uh, my tweet in response to that. As I reported on YouTube, XRP is the second to least correlated to Bitcoin out of the top 10 coins. It's undeniably correlated. That's why typically when Bitcoin tanks in a big way, XRP and the market follow. Frankly, it's very obvious. I pointed out regularly, and that's all true. And then what I linked to was the article that I just showed here, which states, of course, that correlation for XRP relative to Bitcoin's price action, 56.52%. All right, and then Jade responded with this. He writes, this shows a correlation of 0.56 over 30 days. So even your source doesn't defend a strong correlation. Now note that the goalposts have shifted from there's no correlation to now there's no strong correlation. I never said there was a strong correlation. In fact, if you listen to my channel, you know I say exactly the opposite. I say the correlation is weak, it, but it exists, and it's very notable. You can absolutely track it, and there is data on it, and I've cited it in this video from a couple different sources, right? So again, the goalposts have shifted, uh, that, uh, the goalposts that Jade the Martian XRP set up, they have shifted, right? And then, um, 
then he writes, and observing on even the 100 day shows the correlation is 0.21 weak negative. Okay. And so check this out. So here's the screen capture. This is a screen grab, right? Yeah, here we go. So uh, here's the screen grab that he wrote. The strength of the relationship varies in degree based on the value of the correlation in co correlation coefficient. For example, a value of 0.2 shows there is a positive correlation between two variables, variables, but it is weak and likely insignificant. Experts do not consider correlation significant until the value surpasses at least 0.8 which is, of course, a high bar. However, a correlation coefficient with an absolute value of 0.9 or greater would represent a very strong relationship. So what he's putting down here is exactly what my narrative is. So I, I think part of it is that he just didn't understand my position, but there's still a number of factual inaccuracies in here, which is why I wanted to kind of straighten this up here. But that, that's, that's just straight. I, I've never said that there's a strong correlation. I've always said exactly the opposite. Uh, but it, it is real. And so, look, here's a tweet from XRP Puppies responding to Jay the XRP Martian. XRP Puppies agrees with me, as most people in the XRP community do. Um, and that includes, again, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and uh, Ripple CTO, co-creator of the XRP Ledger, David Schwartz. They both publicly stated this in video format. I've seen it from both of them. Uh, so here's a correlation. This dates back from April to... Um, to it was today or yesterday all right and so here you can see the orange line is bitcoin and the blue line is xrp you might say that they look correlated and you might be right if you say it. you would be right if you say that of course y'all if you have eyeballs you can see this and so anyway jade the xrp martian responded i don't make up the rules to how a significant correlation is defined and again now you're changing the goalpost i i never said significant i not even close i've said the exact opposite and uh, so, I, no. <laughs> you know. Then he writes, but I guess everybody's entitled to their own opinion being more true than textbook definitions. Well, you can say what you want about a textbook definition, but a, a correlation is a correlation whether it's strong or weak. And all I've said is that there is a correlation, and that out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, depending on the rankings in the given moment, XRP is either the least correlated of the top 10 coins or the second to least. That is what I've said. And then he writes, um, to wrap things up, wrap up this thread, he writes, After all, what would we do with all our spare time if we didn't argue over basis opinions on social media? Which, you know what, I can appreciate that. <laughs> but no, it's fun. This, to me, this is all in fun, though. Like, I, I enjoy thinking critically and, and going back and forth. To me, it's, it's just a, like a barrel of fun. You know, I, I enjoy a thoughtful and kind and adult like, uh, debates. And so that's uh, that's pretty well where I'm coming from. And there was I thought there was another tweet that he had in here. Maybe it was on a different thread within this, and I hope I'm not missing it. But I thought that he made a point um, somewhere. Gosh, I hope I'm really not just missing it. But I thought he made a point um, about... Um, Unless I could be missing it. About uh, would you... It was something along the lines of... And I'm pulling from memory because I just read this earlier this, this morning. But it was something like, would you say... You know, he used the the. I don't know if it was the 08 crash or a recent stock decline, um, where they all went down in tandem. At that point was brought up. So, like, let me just just say this because conceptually, it doesn't matter if it was a more recent instance where the entirety of the stock market declined or if it was the crash weight. Let me just say it's the crash weight. It's conceptually, it doesn't matter. And he's saying, does that mean so? If if they all go down, does that mean that the uh, the, the cryptocurrency with the highest market cap call or, or I'm sorry. The stock, does that mean, so take a look at the crash of 08. Does, does that mean that the stock with the highest market cap caused, of that, caused the decline if they all go down in tandem? No, it, clearly not. And then that wasn't the point that I was making either. So what can happen is there were, um, that, that was a housing bubble that caused that. So there can absolutely be uh, political factors, geopolitical factors, all, all sorts of instances that can cause an entire market to react away. And that's why even though I've stated in terms of cryptocurrencies, even though there will be a continued decoupling of cryptocurrencies over time, I, I have stated this also in the channel, that there can absolutely be uh, political things. Imagine if, who knows what happened, if global war broke out, who knows, if something wacky happened, uh, you know, there's economic collapse, not because of crypto, uh, who, who knows, you could have an entire asset class pump or an entire major collapse. But that, that at that point, it would be due to outside contributing factors, not because of Bitcoin, once you're talking about uh, you know, what's the frenziest diet around, around crypto and this and that. And so what I'm stating is that typically, if the number one, number one stock you know, in the S&P 500, the largest cap stock, if it tanks, it's not just going to pull down the entire asset class. Because what we're talking about is the difference between causation and correlation, two very different things. 
So the causation in the terms of like the 08 collapse, it was the housing bubble, and they all went down. I'm not blaming the largest uh, stock for that particular instance. And but what's happening with crypto? Almost every single well, every single major drop that's been eight or ninety percent. All of them have been because of Bitcoin, not external factors. The, the causation was Bitcoin, and that's a very important distinction that I want to make there. And I'm sorry, it's jumbled up somewhere in this thread. I don't want to click a bunch on a bunch of stuff while I'm like fumbling and bumbling over words trying to find this stuff here. But, oh, maybe I did just find it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I did find it. So I, I responded. I guess this was in a different portion of the thread. So I wrote, compare this to the stock market. And this is in response to what he had to say about um you know, there's not a significant correlation in terms of price action. So I wrote, compare this to the stock market. When the largest cap stock in the New York Stock Exchange slash NASDAQ goes down, it doesn't take the rest of the market down with it. There is a frenzy around blockchain and people have little idea which coins will have staying power, hence the extreme price correlation. Right? And then I wrote, put simply, speculators in the market are betting that there is something to this whole crypto thing, but they just aren't really sure what just yet. Let time pass and the correlation will decrease and speculators place and as uh, speculators place an emphasis on the importance of fundamentals and utility. And then Jade responded, Matt, you are basing your view upon cherry picked data points. And I'm, de I'm definitely not. I don't even know what he means by that. <laughs> I, I am not. I'm, I'm citing all sorts of different types of scenarios. But anyway, uh, specifically data points that only a novice or someone in denial would define as anything other than a blatant market manipulation. Uh, correlation isn't determined by single massive moves on a single day. Okay, so look, there's manipulation in the world of crypto, but typically what I'm saying here is Bitcoin gets manipulated and then the rest of market, the market reacts accordingly, including XRP. And then he tweets, to your stock market point, do we say that all stocks on the Dow are correlated just because of the major dumps they took in January 2017 or October 2018? Of course not. Yeah, and I agree with that. That's not, again, that's not the point that I'm making. Uh, entire asset class classes can move in correlation, and that is correlation, by the way. So actually, um, when you said, uh, "Do Jade the extra Martian, you said, do we say that all stocks on the Dow are correlated just because of the major dumps they all took in January 2017 and, or 20, October 2018? Let's parse the words here. The actual answer factually is yes. Because if you look at the definition of correlation, yes, there was a correlated move downward. Yes. But causation and correlation are a different thing. As far as the causation, it's not the largest capped stock in that point, in that particular instance, that caused that. It's, it's other external factors that caused that. And then there was a correlated decline for, for uh, just for that ask, for stocks, right? And that's just flat out factually how it is. And so it's important to make that distinction, like I said, between causation and correlation there. Um, you know what? This video is getting pretty long, so I think some of these other, uh, tw uh, some of the rest of the content that I was going to cover, I'm going to have to save for another video. I am going to put out a, at least another w video today on a completely different topic, because so I'm going to have to save it. But I should really wrap this one up here. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, hopefully I was persuasive enough that the vast majority of you agree with me. If you think I'm right or you think I'm wrong, regardless, let's all be friends in the XRP community. I love all of you. And Jade, the XRP Martian, I do very much appreciate the thoughtful conversation, even if you still disagree with me even though i know i was so persuasive it's okay you're all right in my book so it's okay i like talking through this stuff but uh, i am going to go ahead and link this in the twitter threads so that you can you can take a look at this it's just so much easier for me to talk like twitter is just not the best medium for to have a long format conversation it just is not youtube is much better for that but uh, anyway, uh, that's all I've got for this video. But the rest of the stuff I promise to cover, I'm going to do it in a, in a future video. It's just going too long here. But uh, I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!